Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another new video. You will often ask me that Stephen in Spine we get resources to learn about machine learning and data science but often they get stuck when they have to learn about deep learning. So I found this book that is Deep Learning with Python. This is a book that covers about the deep learning and in this video I'm going to cover who should read this book, what are the contents of this book and whether this book it will be useful for you or not. Coming up. Alright, so we have this book with us. The book name is Deep Learning with Python. Uh, the author is Francis Cholet. It's I believe it's the French author and the publisher of the book is Manning. Mannings are a very good and renowned publishers for computer science book and uh, this book is specially and specially only meant for deep learning and that too with the Keras right so first let us look at the first page it says get the ebook free PDF EPUB and Kindle all included what this actually means is that when you buy this book the Mannings give you that once thank you you have bought our book what you can do now is visit our website and actually download the free edition of this book which you can take anywhere download in your phone a laptop a desktop and read anytime when you want i have actually not done it as of now you need to tear it from here and maybe they might have some um, code that you can go and paste it on their website and get a free version of it Again, okay, it says deep learning with Python. So first, let us have the brief content. Let me zoom it for you. All right, makes sense. So the book is divided into two parts. The part one, that is fundamental of deep learning. And part two, that is deep learning in practice. Of course, you can get an idea that the first one is more for the basics and the second one is kind of hands-on. So we'll look at the first topic. It says, what is deep learning? before we begin the mathematics that are required the getting started with neural networks and the fundamental of machine learning so i believe if you do not have any knowledge prior to the uh, deep learning this section will help you build up an understanding and entire ecosystem to get started with this book if you have an understanding of deep learning you may like to skip a couple of chapters from this section and directly move over here okay and if you look at the part two it says they're covering computer vision that's really nice they're also covering uh, text processing and sequences the best chapter that i believe you should be focusing on advanced deep learning best practices often people do not like to read it because they feel they already know about it but in real-time development you should always focus on the best practices the eighth chapter is generating generative deep learning and fifth one is conclusion so that is in a very nutshell the first one is kind of briefing and the second part is more like a hands-on now before we move ahead these are the actual content okay let us move ahead and look at the look at the author's profile yeah so it says Francis Cholet I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing my wrong name works on deep learning at Google in Mountain View California see is California right <laughs> he's the creator of the Keras deep learning library as well as the contributor to the tensorflow machine learning framework this is very nice it means the one that who has given a very good contribution in the development of the keras he is that man as he is the only one who has written this book so what best book could you actually find other than the guy who has made the keras so as i said earlier this book is more specifically for Keras rather than any TensorFlow or a scikit-learn library, right? Also, it says he also does deep learning research with focus on computer vision and the application of machine learning on formal reasoning. Of course, since his interest is into computer vision, he is also given a section that uh, covers the computer vision as we saw earlier in the chapter. I believe it was here, right? You see? He covers the computer vision also so to get a briefing I believe this is a very good book to get started not to get started but it's a very book as when it comes to content as the author is itself a very renowned person now 
for uh, something that I really loved about this book is about the cover. They've also told that the figure on the cover of Deep Learning with Python is captioned by habit of a Persian lady nine in 1568. <laughs> this is actually referring to this lady. So I really love that the book, uh, the author is also about talking about the cover of this book. Often people don't do it, which actually means how committed this author is. But before we actually move ahead, I want you to look at the uh, a section that I always like to prefer. That is, who should read this book? This is very, very important before you buy any book. It says, this book is written for people with Python programming experience who want to get started with machine learning and deep learning. But this book can also be valuable to many different type of readers. Well, now what should you note here that it says you must have python programming experience very true if you do not know python uh, i would suggest you to go back and read python and then buy this book also it says uh, who want to get started with machine learning and deep learning but i would like to contradict here giving a uh, unbiased review that to get started with machine learning this may not be the best book because if you will go down a little bit, you'll find that this author says, um, it says, it says, where did, yeah, I found it here. It says, in order to use Keras, you will need reasonable Python proficiency. Totally fine. If I know Python, what else? Additionally, familiarity with the NumPy library will be helpful, although it isn't required. See, uh, since the author of this book was one of the core member who built the Keras, uh, according to him, he says that this book might be good to get started with machine learning and deep learning. But I would highly suggest you not to go with this book if you do not have the concepts of what is machine learning, what is training and testing of data. Also, if you look at the index of this or the content of this book, you will find that it says what is deep learning. Okay, the first chapter. The second chapter is the mathematics the third chapter is getting started with neural net uh, where did i go yeah the third chapter is getting started neural network it goes till advanced deep learning best practices something to notice here that this book this particular book may not be the best one to get started with machine learning as you would see this book does not cover the algorithms right this book does not cover the algorithms like k-means clustering logistic regression or linear regression it straight away covers the fundamental of deep learning that is this section it covers the fundamental of deep learning and straight away move into the uh, hands-on so uh, it's a good book for deep learning to get started with deep learning but this may not be the best book to get started with machine learning okay uh, let me just go a little bit and uh, have a view now about this book what they say again is um, that you will learn more than 30 code examples that include detailed comment commentary practical recommendation and simple high level explanation of everything you need to know to start using deep learning to solve concrete problems now this is something that is very interesting about this book they have more than 30 code examples the reason i really love this book is they have commented a lot of their almost like all the quotes that they've given if i turn any page uh, let me go a little deep okay let me uh, let me have a look let us have a look at this code example so, this is an example for the numpy implementation of rnn look at look at the code they have explained each and every line not just in the code section itself like okay this is the number of time spans of the input sequence that is they have given this is the initial state and all zero vector but later on in the below they've also explained each and every line that is not just over here but they've also explained each and every line of this program also something that you would really uh, like about this book is that they have used many many diagrams to explain you 
that would really help to remember and actually find out on how a program is executed so all in all this is a very good book okay uh, you should buy it okay this is one of the book that should be in your bag or in your library if you are a machine learning enthusiast because uh, you will often find that people would take a reference from this book and then uh, get started with any of the online courses they make the chapters like deep learning for text and sequences and deep learning for computer vision these are quite of advanced chapter uh, people who come from um, open cv background this chapter will be very very beneficial for you as it actually tells on how image processing works at the code level so this book is an amazing book written by Francois Charlet <laughs> I'm again sorry I may not be pronouncing it right uh, this book to be very frank is quite an expensive if I look around uh, it says that the <laughs> MRP of this price is 5499 that is in Indian rupees maybe if you'll convert it or if you look around it says it is 49 US dollars or 65.99 Canadian dollars also this book came to me from United States it says it's printed in United States of America yeah so this is book so right now I'm in India and this book came from uh, US so this is very important book you should surely consider buying it but you will buy it from Amazon okay if you buy it maybe amazon.com or maybe amazon.in uh, this will cost you something around uh, 1000 or 1500 <laughs> I don't know why they have given uh, MRP 550500 price but if you buy it from Amazon probably you'll get it for 1500 or 2000 depending upon the current sale that was all in this video from my side thank you so much for watching I upload videos on every Monday Wednesday and Friday don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you so much see you in the next video